Hey everyone, welcome in to a, another daily editorial here on the KE Report. I am getting an update from Novo Resources, traded on the TSX under the symbol NVO, on the OTCQX under the symbol NSRPF, and on the ASX under that same symbol NVO. I'm chatting with Mike Spreadborough, the executive co-chairman of Novo Resources. And Mike, let's go through a couple drill programs, three in total that the company has either just completed or are ongoing. A lot of news that came out on November 14th, Nunnery North. The drill program was completed. We had some results from there. You also announced that the Bell Topper drill program had just started. Let's start off with Nunnery North. There is a total of 30 holes for just under 2,500 meters, all shallow RC drilling. Mike, take us through what you found through this drill program at Nunnery North, which is in Pilbara in Western Australia. Corey, great to catch up. Yeah, Nunnery is very, very exciting for us. If uh, your listeners will recall, we identified a huge soil and rock chip anomaly up to, you know, 10, 20 grams per tonne um, from those soils and rock chips. We re- put out some results a little while ago on some of the first holes, but we've now completed the program. As you said, almost 2,500 metres of holes. You know, we drilled 30 holes. We really concentrated on one area of this whole 1.4 kilometre system. So this is really early days. We probably call it proof of concept, trying to understand the geology behind this, uh, below the surface. No one's ever been there. You know, this is virgin drilling. No one's been there. It is really, really exciting. So the results that we've seen, you know, we've seen up to 11 metres at around 2 grams, 7 metres at 1.5, 5 metres at 1.8, um, 8 metres at 1.3. So they really provide a lot of encouragement. Um, they are only shallow holes. You know, we're only drilling 80 metres in depth. But we drilled a series in this kind of concentrated area, a series of what we call fence lines, where you drill maybe 100 metres spacings, but you'll drill three or four holes along the fence line. And the reason we do that is so the geologists can kind of join the dots. And what's exciting is we can join the dots. We're seeing quartz vein systems um, that we can uh, flow from one hole to another. And that gives us confidence that this thing could hold together. So very, very early days. So, Mike, you mentioned that you're just focused on this one area out of a much broader target here. Why did you focus so much just in this one area for this program? It it was really the fact that we understood the geology could be slightly complex. No one's been there before, so there's no real great understanding of what's under the surface than what we've mapped on the surface. So by really focusing a little area allows the geologists to get an understanding of that geology before we decide what the program should look like going forward. So we would see the next program sometime around March, April next year, that we would do some serious step out along the 1.4 metre zone trying to get the full extent both laterally but also depth you know as i just said the holes are quite shallow we see continuity of grade at depth we'll drill some deeper holes and see what happens so overall i think it's a virgin discovery in the middle of the prilbro where no one's been it's a great outcome for us and um, one for people to keep an eye on as we go forwards so since it is still such early stage can you make the comparison of this discovery to any of the other assets in and around the area? Look, it's a bit hard and a bit early at this stage, but, you know, let's remember not too far north of us is the Grey and their big system, 10 million ounces. Um, below us down at Newman, we've got Capricorn Metals and their Kalawindra program project where they're mining about, I think it's two or three million tonnes a year, uh, producing 150,000 ounces. So there's enough excitement in the Pilbara of gold projects maybe this is one of them early days but it's exciting that's why we're in the Pilbara so when will we find out more information on the next program as you said to expand and even drill deeper yeah we'll put out a release probably around about February outlining the program going forwards all right let's also talk about the other news release on November 14th that was at Bell Topper drill program starting there. This is approximately a 2,300 meter program diamond drilling though. So a little bit different. Bell Topper is in Victoria. Can you give us some insights on what the goals are around this program, please? Yeah, so Bell Topper in Victoria, 50 kilometers south of the world class Fosterville Gold Mine. 
we've done a lot of work in the last 12 to 18 months putting together a really good geological picture. You know, we've pulled together the geophysics, the soils, previous drilling, and we've even built a 3D model of the historic mining that was done, you know, 100 years ago. So that's led us to this program, a six-hole program over 2,000 metres of diamond. So this is really important to drill diamond. It gives a solid core that will kind of map, pull together the geology. Program will probably go through all the way through March next year. We won't do much work over the new Christmas, New Year. It's just the next step in us unwinding the complex geology uh, in Bell Top, and we're pretty excited by this program. Now, can you touch on that, one of the main targets that uh, you're looking to develop the high-grade zone on that Levin Star Reef, where some drilling from last year returned some high-grade? Yeah, Levin Star actually has a historical resource of around about 100,000 ounces, so very, very small. And really, the drilling is allowing us to look at the extensiveness of that high-grade portion of Levin Star. So that will be important uh, geological information and grade information that we'll get around February, March, and really expand, hopefully, the resource model in that area. And that will really give us the first kicker of uh, the potential and mineability of that area. Now, there's another drill program that is ongoing, and that is with your partner, DeGray, at the Edgina JV projects. I believe DeGray starting about a 39,000 meter drill program at the Besher project. Can you give us some more insights on how this is progressing? Yeah, this is very, very exciting. As your listeners probably remember, DeGray, we've done a great joint venture on the Besher project, which we're really excited about. They like it because it's right next to their 12 million ounce Hemi project. Uh, They're spending $25 million over four years. So that's a huge amount of money, but it shows their excitement. They've now taken over management of exploration. And at the moment, they're progressing this uh, 39,000 metres of uh, exploration program, a combination of air core RC, and they'll do a bit of diamond. We would hope to see some results before Christmas, maybe uh, in the new year. But it's just so exciting for us to see um, the great takeover. They like our story. They like the exploration program that we put together, and they're basically following that path. So sit back and have a look. We're really hoping that we'll see similar geological systems that you, as you've seen on the other side where they um, continually see deposits of a million ounces. So that'll be an exciting journey. So, Mike, are there any other drill programs that are also coming up for the company? Understanding you just wrapped up Nunnery North, you have Bell Topper ongoing, DeGray is managing the one at Besher. Anything else we should be aware of? Look, that's keeping us busy uh, enough as it is. You know, we're fortunate in Novo, the Pilbara, we don't drill, um, you know, this de- December, February time. It's too hot, a lot of rain. So we've got the ability to move from the Pilbara to Victoria and then back again. So that allows us to have consistent exploration effort, drives efficiency and synergies. So we're in a good position. Now, how about upcoming news flow? It sounds like a lot of drill results, but where should investors be focused? Well, you'll definitely see further drill results coming out of Besher, as I said, later this year, early next year, and the Bell Topper results will flow through early next year. So they're the exploration news flow that you should expect to see and keep an eye out for. Okay, uh, I guess one more question regarding cash in the bank. Where does the company stand to move forward with all this drilling? So at the moment, we've got about $15 million Canadian. So that's uh, really strong. And we've still got that investment portfolio, which is around about $25 million Canadian. So we've got enough money to progress our uh, programs going forwards. I do get some questions about, you know, what's happened since the prospectus. So, you know, as we outlined, we did have a big bill. We had to pay eight and a half million Australian to the Western Australian government. So we've done that. So that really, you know, chopped into news flow. We are obviously divesting the Nullingon Gold Project, but you know, per what we've mentioned before, it's costing us somewhere to four hundred to five hundred thousand dollars a month to maintain that. So every cent outside of those kind of two big chunky things is going into the ground and exploration. Now, with the shares that you hold in other companies, do you have any plans to divest those and generate some cash there? Look, not at this stage. You know, we like those uh, kind of unlisted investments in San Cristobal and a 3D uh, technology company. They've been very great investments for us. But at this stage, we'll keep watching those investments and make a decision around mid-2024. Okay. 
Mike, thank you very much for this update. I'll post a link to the Novo website where you all can read over the recent news and feel free to send me any questions you have on the ongoing drill programs that the company has and any of the results that have already been released. So, Mike, thank you very much for your time. Thanks, Corey.